So we're going to walk through zeroing the meter. Um, this process is really important after it's installed. It's also a lot of times recommended um, in different processes and by different people um, relative to the industries you may be servicing. So um, like before accessing the menu, we just push and hold this, get out. We'll go down to setup. We'll go to process input, zero and offset. And before we start this, it's really important to note that um, in the field, I would recommend doing this, you know, two or three times and verifying that the calibration offsets are very, very, very close to one another. Um, what that's doing is just showing you the consistency of the zero and making sure that there aren't leaky valves or other process conditions that may be influencing the meter actually holding a good zero. So if I go into calibrate zero and I go ahead and say automatic, um, it's going to run through its calibration process for zero. And here after this countdown, we're going to see um, either a passed or not passed, as well as a percentage that'll tell us, um, you know, basically that calibration zero offset. So there we got past and 0 0.206. So let's, like I said, do it one more time. And again, it's going to do the same countdown as it goes through the process. And what we would hope is that after we do this zero, that we would see a number very, very, very close to 0 0.206. Now, if it varies and it's 0 0.203, um, that's within a tolerance that's acceptable. If it was like 0.5 or something like that, or two or a big number, there might be something that's changed in the process that might lead to concern. And in some cases, you won't see it pass at all. So here we get a passed again, and 0 0.205. So if we repeated this and it was consistent, um, I would be comfortable with saying this is a good zero. Um, then to save it, we just back off here, Make sure and say yes, and that's going to save that new zero offset.